And the Tuscany has sun-dried tomato and, and some basil, so, you know, we're actually getting a little bit of those Italian flavors. And don't be shy with your seasoning, you know. Okay. All right, what are we doing next? Are you uh, about to add some, what's that, your, your salt? A little bit of salt, and I use sea salt. I, I don't know why. I think it's a chef thing that I <laughs> kind of picked up, that it, it actually is a little bit better than the regular table salt. Okay. At least I, I like to think so. Wow. Okay. So, let me sit there for a little bit. All right. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, as soon as they start getting tender, I'm going to add in the mushrooms, and those are really quick to cook. Folks, if you'd like to go to my website, go to breadoflifeshow.com. If you'd like to email me, go to uh, chefrobinson1 at yahoo.com. If you want more about more about this show or you want to be a guest on the show, uh, go to my website. They've got all the information on there. Okay, well now that our peppers and onions are nice and tender, we're going to go ahead and add our mushrooms. And I actually push them to the side so that these can actually cook a little bit. Um, um, you and know, I actually like those uh, portobello mushrooms. They say it's, a, it's the, uh, the, the second meat, so to speak, you know. Yeah. If you don't want to eat the meat, you can... You can still save for ten. That these are this is the meat that you can substitute. Oh yes, definitely. And they're very um, hearty and kind of robust. And yeah, good flavor. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now that those are already getting tender, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit more of the seasoning of the rosemaria on. Rosemaria. Okay. The mushrooms. Use, use some of that Tuscany, rosemaria, a little bit of, a little bit of uh, salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at this point, you are uh, going to transfer the sandwich as you, go, you, you let that rest a little bit. What we're going to do is go ahead and um, brush like the thick. ciabatta bread. I already have them sliced, and we're, gonna, yeah. we're just going to brush them a little bit with olive oil and place them down like we did with the crostini. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start that. Just put a... Just a little bit, just very lightly. Lightly oil on the bottom. Mm -hmm. How's that? Okay. That's good, yeah. Let me just go ahead and... Put together these sounds. These need to get. They need to get about a nice golden brown too, as well, right? Yes. So I have actually cranked up the the temperature on that mm -hmm. because you want it to stay a soft. I mean, ciabatta bread is not actually your most tender bread, but it's perfect for this kind of sandwich. And um, so I just want the inside to have a, a little crust on it. Mm-hmm. So you should just kind of give it a little smash there. So it's just yes, kind of because I wanted to make sure that it's actually, yeah, there's some of it's already getting a little on the edges. All right, well, that's good. And the whole point of heating it up also is because we're going to put this lovely mozzarella, um, fresh mozzarella yeah. on the sandwich, and we want it to start melting. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do with the, with the mozzarella, just so that you can uh, have an idea of this. There. Kind of turn that to you there, so you can yeah. get that. Actually, just so you just kind of warm it just warm a it little up bit. Warm it up so it just starts getting that little melt. And putting it on That's there. That's a good idea. Mhm. Mm I don't know if you want to grab the bowl. Sure, I grab it. I'm gonna grab some of the. Get got some of the mushrooms. Good mixture. Yes, and then wow. this is hot, so this is gonna start melting over on um, the making the mozzarella melt also. Mm -hmm. So you get some of the meat on there, you know. Mm -hmm. And come back over and then we're just going to take one of these and place it on top. Okay, you're going to make a, one more sandwich there. And what I'm going to do while you're doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the... The soup? Soup up. That would be great. Thank you, Chef. 
you can see it's just a little bit toasty on the outside, on the ridges. That's what you want on there. And sometimes I go ahead and put it in the same pan that I did the, um, the mozzarella, the same pan that I did the mushroom pan. Uh -huh. I just want it nice and hot just to sear it to start getting it done. Okay, I'm going to let you decorate the soup here when you get through with that sandwich. Oh, right, that looks good. I'm going to get some of the meat on here. Got a lot of bell peppers on that one. That looks good. Grab another one. Nice toasty, and it's going to be soft on the top side. Go ahead and turn that down. Okay, let me help you with the presentation. Let you assemble your bread how you want it. I'm just going to place your soup right there. Okay. Just kind of move everything in. Plate presentation, aisle peeling. Now we're just going to add a little bit of the Parmesan cheese on the top. Mm -hmm. And take a little bit of basil. Wow, that looks good. And nice plate presentation. That is awesome. That is awesome. That looks very healthy. I mean, you can even take your crostinis or your, 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 your baguette bread and mm -hmm. dip it in your, your soup. Well, are you going to try it? Well, of course I am. I would be Thinkers. the one to, who would try this crostini. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the show today. Mm -hmm. If you got some great ideas, you want to be that on this fun. show, hey, I'm going to try this crostini with the tomato basil bread. Mmm. It's good, huh? That is good. This is awesome. Folks, I thank you very much for joining us today. I hate to talk to you with food in my mouth, but <laughs> we're having a great time here. Next, you will see coming on the show, Morgan Brooms. She's going to be doing a wonderful dessert. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.